Casper Dennis here for Submission Round. You were standing here with Kyle Noak. You just picked up a big win over Jonathan Webb. He was obviously a teammate of yours. How do you feel fighting a teammate? Um, you know, it's something I got over a long time ago. Um, I think being in the Ultimate Fighter House helped me get over that. I had to fight two of my friends in there. So, um, you know, I, I'm at that level now. I'm professional. Uh, Jonathan's professional. And uh, it's, just, it's a sport. We got in there and, and played our sport. You mentioned uh, once the fight was announced, uh, you guys spoke on the phone. What did you guys pretty much speak about? Um, Jonathan just, he, he accepted the fight, but he didn't want to be just disrespectful towards me. Um, like I said, we were friends, so, um, you know, he, he called me to let me know that he was going to say yes to the fight and uh, just make sure that uh, there was no disrespect involved. And, and, and I said the same thing to him. I said, you'd be mad not to take the fight. It's your opportunity to get in the UFC. I get an opponent, we both win. So, um, you know, it was just a respect thing out of both of us. Having trained with him previously, you would have known what to expect from him in the octagon. It was a very, very close fight. Could have gone either way. Did it match your expectations, or did Jonathan sort of exceed them in this fight? Uh, Jonathan definitely exceeded him. Um, you know, it, it's been a long time for a fight for me, so there's a couple of things I need to work on. My timing was off. Um, I couldn't find a home for my right hand, and uh, Jonathan found a home for all his. Uh, it was, you know, like, like you said, it was a close fight. It was very close. Could have went either way. Um, you know, I don't know about the one judge scoring at 30-27 to Jonathan, but it, if it would have went the other way to him, I, I would have been just as happy, you know. I'm not obviously not as happy that I lost, but I would've, it wouldn't have surprised me if it went the other way. Were you nervous there? Were, you made an expression when the judges were reading out the scorecards. Were you nervous? Um, I wasn't nervous. I was, like I said, I would have been happy. Either, not happy, but I would have been okay with it going either way. Um, just when I heard the 30-27, it kind of shocked me a little bit. A lot of leg locks uh, attempted by Jonathan. Obviously, for people that don't know at home, it's really tough to get a leg lock. You've got to be in the right position. The guy does, has to not know how to escape them. Not every, and everyone's who's him out, Paul Harris. How did you feel in those situations? Were any of them close to being locked? And you had an ankle lock, I believe, at one point. Any, anything very close to getting in? Um, no, it, it, was, it was on, but I could feel it slipping out, so it didn't bother me. Um, I think uh, Jonathan knew <laughs> Jonathan knew I was coming off a knee injury and it's my first fight back, so I guess uh, he was trying to get a leg lock, which I would have done the same thing if I was Jonathan. So, um, you know, it, it was it was on, but as, as, as I say, I could feel it slipping out, so I didn't feel in danger at all. You do have a history of, obviously, injuries. How is the body feeling now? And are you sort of relieved to be back from such a long layoff, get the win, back in the win column, and hopefully next fight, you know, get that timing right and sort of roll off that momentum? Absolutely, you know, it's great to be back, it's great to fight again. Um, you know, I had a lot of nerves coming into this fight. Um, not fight nerves, but just nerves about, uh, you know, obviously I'm getting older now and it's been so long since I fought. Um, even before my last fight, I had almost two years off that, so I've had one fight in the last three years. So all these thoughts go through your mind about, you know, can I still do it, am I getting too old, are the injuries just catching up with me, should I retire? You know, all these things go through my head, but, um, you know, I felt great in there. My cardio felt phenomenal. Um, you know, like I said, it's just a matter of uh, getting my timing back and, and knocking that ring rust off, and I feel like uh, this fight was a perfect fight for me to, to come back. Uh, since you have been inactive the last few years, what do you do next? Do you look to take a fight soon, or do you wait for Melbourne? Uh, what's um, your thought? Absolutely. You know, um, I feel great. I feel injury-free right now. Um, you know, my feet are a little sore from I'm missing a few kicks. Like I said, my timing is off, so I kicked him a lot with my foot instead of my shin, but uh, they don't feel like anything's wrong with them. They, feel, they just feel sore. So uh, hopefully nothing's wrong, and then um, you know I want to fight again straight away. So I'll be looking for a short notice fight, uh, get back in there, and, and have another probably one or two fights before Melbourne. You train out of uh, Albuquerque, Jackson, we call John's. The fight just finished. Have you heard anything from the guys over there? What was sort of? Did you get any kind of comments from Greg or Mike over there? What did they think of the fight? Uh, Greg was happy with the fight. You know, um, he, he was very happy with it. I haven't heard from Mr. Winklejohn yet. He's still too training. busy. He is. He, we've got a big Sleeping stable. Today. Yeah, he, no, we have a big stable and a couple of guys fighting back home, yeah. so he didn't come. But I've also been training out at Cowboys Ranch at the BMF Ranch. So, um, Does he make you do things like uh, crazy adrenaline, jumping <laughs> out of planes? Is that a part of it, having to be at the ranch? Uh, it is a part of it. He doesn't make me do it because I love doing it anyway. Um, <laughs> he's latest thing right now is scuba diving, so we go scuba diving every weekend as well as wakeboarding. Um, you know, in the last few weeks, he's been putting me to work. We've been building pig pens. Um, chicken coops, dog houses. It's like Rocky training when he's running up to yeah. the chicken in the back working on his cardio. Yeah, absolutely. He knows I'm an Aussie and I'm a good worker, so he comes in the, into my side of the house every time. Every time he wants to build something, he's like, hey, Kyle, you want to come out and help him? He knows I'm going to say yes. And then I had my brother come over and save me for this camp, and uh, he was a big help to me. And he knew he wanted to work too, so he'd rub it in Nelson's face, like, hey, I'm going to have to build this, and Nelson had have to get up and help him.
One of the last questions. Obviously, the last time we spoke to you was about a fight that fell out between yourself and Yoshihiro Akiyama. I think most people just know him as uh, Sexyama or the Sex. Would you like a fight with Sexyama again? Would you like to revisit that fight? Sure. You know, I don't really care who I fight. I just want to fight again. Um, like I said, I'm, I feel like I'm injury free, so I might as well get back in there and, and go again. Carl, congratulations. It's a pleasure chatting to you. No worries. Thanks, guys.